Hey, what's up guys? Second Creep Baby here back again with some more Undertale Genocide. Oh yeah, so we left off. Toriel died in one hit and I made my way through Snowden Forest. Off camera I did some grinding and uh, uh, take a look at these couple pictures on screen. So if you'll see, the, uh, the, uh, the main menu said Snowdrake was there, but as I know Snowdrake, that is that does not look like Snowdrake. Snowdrake does not wear sunglasses. So I went to the fight screen, turns out that was Childrake, who's uh, a bit more chill than Snowdrake, apparently. Uh, and uh, I encountered Childrake twice while it was grinding, so that's who that's who I saw during the... Never mind. Anyway, I exhausted the kill counter off camera. This is gonna this is gonna get annoying fast. So I exhausted the kill. I exhausted the. I exhausted the uh, random encounters off camera. So I just need. I need to make my way back to the uh, to the bridge. I I went a really. I went really long. Uh, I went a. I went a really far way back to uh, to make sure I still had random encounters going. <laughs> yep, this is. It's gonna take a bit. Might as well save here, just in case. Where was it? Okay, so. Here we go. The music is just. too eerie. It's just creepy. I don't know why I went so far back. But, uh. Yeah, here's the bridge. Alright, Papyrus. Let's see your death trap again. Okay. Human, this is your final and most dangerous challenge. Behold the gauntlet of deadly terror. And the dog is hanging from the rope there. When I say the word, it will fully activate. Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice. Each part will swing violently up and down. Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because... I am about to do it! <laughs> Same as last time, he's not gonna do it. Well, what's the holdup? Hold up? What hold up? I'm. I'm about to activate it now! You're. No, you're not. That, uh, doesn't look very activated. Well, they're probably going to work through it. And it won't be any fun at all! Hmm. So this human thing was a bust, huh? Well, I mean, I'm excited to capture them, so I'll become a famous royal gunsman. But all the time I put into these puzzles, it's kind of like throwing a birthday party. Without traps and via? Exactly! It's pointless! I think I think my I think my new I think my San, I think my Sans voice is slipping up a bit. Hmm. Uh, maybe you were right uh, to be lazy about puzzles. Me? Right about something? Really? Yeah, what I'm, what I, what am I saying? You're still completely wrong. I just have the wrong audience. Think about how much fun Undyne would have here. Flames of violence, it's right up her alley. So I won't waste this puzzle on you. I just have to appreciate the friend I already have. Okay. Whew. A valuable life lesson. <laughs> okay. Why is the music back to normal? Hmm. Guess we didn't need your help to have a good time after all. Say, I've been thinking. Seems like you're gonna fight my brother pretty soon. Here's some friendly advice. You keep going the way you are now. His peoples are gone. You're gonna have a bad time. And Sans is gone. He's kind of scaring me. What's going on? Welcome to Snowden Town. But why is the music like this? But nobody came. Nobody's here. There's a note here. Please don't hurt my family. Steel, you took 758 gold from behind the counter. That's crazy. Oh my god. And I could just take anything. I could just take any of this stuff for free. This just makes me feel like more and more like a monster. I'll just uh, equip this manly bandana. 
And, um, let's put some stuff in here. Like, um... Uh, come to think of it, what? Hmm. Heals ten. Monster candy, really not useful. Wait. Um, maybe I can sell it to... Maybe I can sell it to the Temi shopkeeper. Um... And that was for the spider donut. Heals twelve. Ugh. I could sell this as well. Hmm. I gotta get rid of some stuff, like... Okay, the monster candy really is not worth keeping. Drop. Monster candy was thrown away. Okay. Um, let's just take... Let's just, let's just take some stuff. I'll just take four cinnamon buns. I mean... I mean, they, rec they recover 22 HP, so, I mean, that's that's almost, like, half my health. I think that's all I can do, really. Hmm. Who are you? It's merely a decoy. Okay, this is, this is getting slightly disturbed. Don't want to walk to the other side of town? Try the under-snow tunnels. They're efficiently laid out. Hmm. Okay, that's still locked. The monster kid? Nothing for you. Yo! Everyone ran away and hid somewhere! Man, adults can be so dumb sometimes! <laughs> Don't they know we've got Undyne to protect us? Undyne's not gonna help you much. I have to kill her! Ah, uh, Grobies. Grobies is empty! Grobies is empty! The jukebox is broken. Hmm. Uh, Grobies is empty, but the music still plays. You can't go through the fire exit because you're not made of fire. Oh, I get it. Because Grillby is made of a fire. Okay. I get it. But there's no one here. This is this is creepy. No answer. Hmm. Right, the river person doesn't come back until uh until Hotland. Ice Wolf isn't here either. Yeah, I should have included that conversation with Ice Wolf in the in the last episode of uh, the True Pacifist ending. I talked to Ice Wolf and uh, I talked to Ice Wolf on the way back to the ruins and um, yeah, uh, library, no one here, huh? It's a school report about monster funerals. Okay, yeah, I've I've read this. I read this as well. Some unfinished book. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I've read I've read that. Monster History Part 4, uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I've read this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've read I've read all those books before, so. Oh, here's Papyrus and Sans house. By the way, my phone really needs to shut up. Okay. Do not just do not disturb, please. Thank you. Sorry. Okay, so this is Sans' mailbox, I think. Mailbox is papyrus. It's empty. It's locked. Okay, so can't get in. It's locked from the inside. But yeah, there's no one. There's no one in Snowden. Uh. Okay, I have my tough glove on. Toriel's phone is obviously not gonna have a uh, knock. Uh, Toriel's phone, obviously no one is going to answer. This is just disturbing. Oh, Papyrus, I'm so sorry. Halt, human! Oh, I didn't move. Hey, quit moving while I'm talking to you! I, the great Papyrus, have some things to say. First, you're a freaky weirdo. Not only do you not like puzzles, but the way you shamble about from place to place. The way your hands are always covered in dusty powder. Dusty powder. That monster turned to dust when they die, so... It feels like your life is going down a dangerous path. <laughs> However, I, Papyrus, see a great potential within you. Everyone can be a great person if they try. And me, I hardly have to try at all. Uh, egotistical much? <laughs> I didn't move. Hey, quit moving! This is exactly what I'm talking about! Human, I think you are in need of guidance. Someone needs to keep you on the straight and narrow. 
But worry not, I, Papyrus, will gladly be your friend and tutor. I will turn your life right around. Ooh. I see you're approaching. Are you offering a hug of acceptance? Wowee, my lesson's already working. I, Papyrus, will welcome you with open arms. Papyrus is sparing you. Ooh. Papyrus, I'm so sorry. I have to do this. I am so sorry, Papyrus. You know how much I... You know how much I really... I, you know how much I like you. I instantly killed him! Just like with Toriel! But well, that's not what I was expecting. Well? But... S still, I believe in you. You could do a little better. Even if you don't think so. I... I promise. What do you promise? Guess I can't figure out. Hmm. Man. <sighs> Goodbye, Papyrus. I'm so sorry. This is... Ugh. Is Sans gonna be here? Oh, God. Sans isn't here. Yo! Are you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome! She's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. <laughs> hmm. It's strangely silent. Whoa. 18. Whoops. 18. Okay, I can't get behind the checkpoint. Alright. This is a box. You could put an item out or take an item in it. Uh, you could put an item in it or take an item out. Why would you, though? You can't use items when they're in the box. Sincerely, a box hater. Hey, the rocks aren't falling. Hmm. Yeah, there's the camera again, which means undying. Hmm. I swore I saw something behind that rushing water. Yeah, which means Alphys is watching me. Because, I mean, all those cameras around. That, that's gotta be Alphys, I man. Alright, so, yeah, no rocks. Oh, this is first appearance of Undyne. Hi, Undyne. Papyrus isn't showing up. Okay, I have to move. Because uh, she has to notice. Uh, Undyne has to notice me in order to go uh, in order to go forward. Uh, I'm guessing she didn't notice anything. Oh wait, she did. She did, but she. Right, this is the same thing that happened last time, except with. This, that's the same thing that happened last time, except without Papyrus coming in and talking to her. But yeah. <laughs> Yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? That was awesome. I'm so jealous. She was just standing there waiting forever, and then you just... Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. Oh, monster kid. 18 left. This is strange. This is strange. When four bridge seeds align in the water, they will sprout. But someone already aligned them. Who did that? Is, once again, is Flowey helping me? That was a smile. That was a smile and not an exclamation point. Aaron. Yeah, he's a little creepy, so... Yeah. No need for a swimming suit. That's awkward. Okay, you can stop now. Aaron is sweating bullets. Okay. 52 XP and 25 gold. Yeah, so there's no, there's no, no way to, so there's no way to fail this, I guess. Oh, right, I need to get this off. Okay, that's, that's fine. Recall? Okay. If an error's made, the Bell Blossom can call Bridge Seeds back to where they started. I'll be back as soon as I uh, exhaust the kill counter, because I think, I think this would be a good spot. Alright guys, I just got, I just got the last two kills, so... I just got the last two kills to exhaust the kill counter, so 
Let's go on. It's strangely silent. But nobody came. Wishing room. Strangely silent. Strangely silent. Strangely silent. Strangely silent. And because uh, and uh, what? Usually I'd have to check the wall, but looks like someone already did. Weird. Hmm. Nothing over here. Ancient writing covers the wall, so you can make out the words. Oh, right, I've read this already. So, yeah, I'm not going to read it again. But, uh... I think we're heading into Undyne's next encounter area. Yeah, yeah, this is Undyne's next... Uh, this is Undyne's encounter area. I have to avoid the spears. Hello, Undyne. Yeah, I feel like I should have enough practice with this to uh, try to avoid it despite, uh, the spears, because I... I mean, I've, I've done this once before. You can stop now, I'm dying. Oh, crap. Whoa, I avoided all of them. Oh, God. Not again. God. Stop, I'm dying. What? Okay, I think I'm... Yeah. I... Oh, right. Here she comes, and, uh... I think... Uh... Monster Kid? Yeah, yeah. Right, this is where she punches the monster kid. Hello? <laughs> this is... <laughs> well, goodbye on nine. Alright, monster kid. Yeah, he's excited. Yo, did you see that? I'm dying just... Touched me! I'm never washing my face ever again! Man, are you unlucky. You were standing just a little bit to the left. Yo, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. Oh, I know we will. I'll have to kill her. This cheese has been here so long, a magical crystal has grown around it. It's stuck to the table. It's strangely silent. It's still strangely silent, even though I, even though I squeaked, even though the mouse squeaked. Determination. Yeah, that that is for sure a sign that uh, that is for sure a sign that I have exhausted the uh, the uh, the counter. It's an odd-looking telescope, and Sans isn't here, so I can't look in it. Hmm. There's nothing I can do in here anyway. Hmm. Where's the ice cream guy? Oh, yeah, I did notice the ice cream guy was gone in Snowden. I just noticed the ice cream guy wasn't there when I was going through Snowden. Hmm. I'm guessing because I'm not a nice person. Hmm. There's the bird. Hmm. Or is it a duck? I don't know. Whatever it is, it, it's there. But nobody came. This is gonna. T this is gonna be. This is gonna be annoying. Strangely silent. Okay, so looks like most of the echo flowers are strangely silent. And I remember from my past. I remember from the uh, pacifist ending. Yeah, there was a pair of ballet shoes right here. Take it. You got the ballet shoes. Uh, it's a stronger weapon. So. At least. Uh, yeah, I think these were stronger. Let's equip the tough glove and compare. Uh, weapon attack seven. Okay. And then the tough glove is weapon attack five. Okay, that works. How many how many times is that gonna pop up? It's like it's it's like random encounters replaced with randomly getting the but nobody came screen. That gets annoying quick. Man, it's just strangely silent. Okay, so yeah, most of the echo flowers are silent apparently. Hmm. Power to take. Oh, right. Yeah, I remember that. Onion sand isn't here. This is this is weird. I mean, going through here, no onion sand. Man. 
Right, 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 and here's where I encounter Shiren. Shiren hides in the corner, but somehow encounters you anyway. Okay. You won, you're in... Okay, hmm. So wait, the top part was her body? Uh, the top part was her, but the bottom part wasn't? That's weird. Northern room hides a great treasure. Just need to remember how the... Hmm. Got it. I got it, but um, I'm pretty sure I still can't. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, I'm fairly certain I still can't get it because I have to. I have to deploy the annoying dog in order to get it. And dog absorbs the artifact. And I got the dog residue, so artifact is gone. So. Yeah, I could never, I could never get that artifact. Northern, okay. Hmm. The power, okay, uh, yep, 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 I remember that. Hmm. And there's the statue, which I don't need. Please take one. Yeah, I'll take an umbrella. Why not? Alright, pretty soon we'll be joined by Monster Kid, so. Oh, there he is. Yo, you got an umbrella? <laughs> Awesome. Let's go. You're not even standing under the umbrella. Okay, let's just. Oh man, I just Undyne is coming up. Man, Undyne is so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would wet the bed every night, knowing she was gonna beat me up. <laughs> uh, really? Uh, pretty soon the Echo Flower and then Monster Kid's gonna talk about it. So, one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king, we had to call him Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking. Yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to school? She could beat up all the teachers. But they're not bad guys, so why would she? Um, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. But I'm not innocent. There's the castle. I'm coming, Monster Kid. Okay, can't talk to you. Hmm. Guess he's guess he's looking at the castle like Hmm. Return. Okay. This ledge is way too steep. Yo, you want to see Undyne, right? Climb on my shoulders. Okay. Ow! Yo, try being a little less rough. <laughs> Wait, I wasn't rough last time. Anyway, I'll look for another way through. Later. Okay, then. Hmm. Huh. Okay, yep, I saw that. Determination. Hmm. Oh, this is the bridge where I face on dying. Give me a second, I need to look something up. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, yeah, Undyne. Undyne shows up right about here. And. Yep, trigger the spears. This is a lot. Yeah, yeah I, need, I need to watch out for the spears. How can Undyne just appear out of nowhere? Yeah, this. I mean, this one's e this one's easier than the spears throwing at uh, being thrown at you for some reason. No, you don't, Undyne. <laughs> you're not. You're not catching me that easily. Right. This is a little bit of a maze. So yeah. Nope. It's not here. Nope. Uh, where am I going? Right down this way. No. Where am I going? Yeah, I completely forgot which way I'm going. Nope. Okay, that was close. God! You're not- you're not catching me, Undyne. And this- the spears are coming faster and faster, holy crap! Right, 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 here's- here's- You're, you're not catching me, Undyne. Jeez, how can Undyne still summon the spears, even though I'm not anywhere near her?
Right, I need to go back, because... Here we go. And Undyne's gonna cut the bridge. And here. Am I gonna get the am I gonna get the dialogue with Azriel? It sounds like it came it sounds like it came from over here. Oh! You've fallen down, haven't you? Are you okay? Here, get up. Kara, huh? That's a nice name. My name is Azriel. I know it's Azriel because uh, because of the because of the true pacifist ending. So, uh, piles of garbage. There are quite a few brands you recognize. Just garbage, okay? And uh, say so piles of garbage. There are quite a few brands you recognize. Just garbage. Determination. Okay. Uh, let's see what else we have. Piles of garbage. Uh huh. Rest your hand on the rusted bike. It's not. Its horn wheezes a honk of despair, which sounds like a slide whistle. Just garbage. A beat up desktop computer. The inside is empty. Someone salvaged the parts, which is really good. Garbage. Okay. It's a. It's a cooler. It has no brand and it shows no signs of wear. Inside are a couple of freeze-dried space food bars. Yeah, I'll get some astronaut food. Why not? Uh, how much does this heal? Twenty-one. Ugh, that's not good. It's a DVD case for an anime. Desperate claw marks cover the edges. That's that's a, uh, that's Alphas for you. A trash heap. Seems like a regular training dummy. Do you want to beat it up? Because on genocide, sure. You punch the dummy at full force. Feels good. Okay. And it's a mad dummy. So. Hi. Fool! You think you can hurt me? I have a ghost that lives inside a dummy. My cousin used to live inside a dummy, too, until you came along. Not only did your actions cause them to leave their home, but now all their neighbors are gone, too. Despicable. Despicable. Despicable! You're the worst person I've ever met. I've never been more mad. God, my mannequin levels are going off the charts! Whoa. What happened? It's this feeling. Eureka! 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 Human, that moment of unbridled emotion. It allowed me to finally fuse with my body. I'm fully corporeal now. My lifelong dream realized. In return, I guess I won't stop you. How's that sound? I like this music, but... Ooh. Sorry, Glad Dummy. Kinda have to kill you. You won, you're nothing. I earn nothing. Determination. So the bird's gone. Which means no going back. Easily, that is. Doesn't seem like anyone's home. Yeah, it's Undyne's house. Pretty soon. Uh. Yep, Napsablook isn't here. This is Metaton's house. Um Snails are gone, the ghost is gone. Yeah, like all the snails. They're all gone. Like, this this place is barren. It's creepy. Blook Acres, East Hotland, somewhere, Timmy Village. I know where Timmy Village is. I might as well might as well get some stuff out of here that I'm not gonna be using. Uh dog residue, I'll put that away. Toy knife, um, Let's see, I'll exchange some stuff and uh, sell the thing. Oh, wait, no, Gers uh, Gerson, can't, uh, Gerson can't sell stuff. And uh, I'm assuming you want to know how I learned his name. Well, I, ta I talked to him on the way back to the ruins after the uh, after the genesis, uh, after the uh, true passive ascending, so. Wow, <laughs> so you came here, what a treat. Yeah, I can buy, I can buy some stuff. I mean, crab apple, CT, Cloudy glasses and torn notebook. Ugh, those are those are don't uh, don't expect a discount. Hmm. Really? You want to chat? Long ago, Asgore and I agreed that escaping would be pointless, since once we left, humans would just kill us. I felt a little betrayed when he eventually changed his mind, but now I think maybe he was right to. 
Because after all, even though we never escaped a human's killing us anyway, ain't that right? <laughs> I can, uh, let's thread him. I've lived too long to be afraid of something like you. Try it, kiddo. I know you can't hear. <laughs> what? Well, <laughs> no, it's like that is the only reason I've survived this so long. He's right, I can't fight shopkeepers. That's so meta. Fight. Hey, fight you? Nah, I'm not a hero. Never was. And besides, these old bones aren't fit for fighting anywho. One attack from you, and then I... Well, at least by talking to you, I've bought enough time for some of them to escape. Hero. I'm not a hero, but I know there's someone out there. Someone who will never give up trying to do the right thing, no matter what. There's no prophecy or legend about anyone like that. It's just something I know is true. And someone like that will strike you down. Okay. Good riddance. Yeah, Gerson, uh, Gerson's a little rude, but I mean... I mean, he has reason to. He has reason to be rude. And there's But Nobody Came. I'm assuming... Uh, yeah, I'm assuming once I get near Temmie Village, the Temmie, uh, the enemy... Uh, the That enemy, Temmie, won't show up, so... Oh, come on! You can stop doing that now. It's like, seriously? I know nobody comes. You can you can just stop doing that. Okay? Alright, so I can head on down to Temmie Village. None of the Temmies are here. There's still one here. Feeling of being watched. Yeah, no Temmies are here. Weird. Alright. Hoi, welcome to the Tem Shop. Uh, talk? Uh, can I? No, I can't. I can't pay for Tem's college, which means the Tammy armor is impossible to get in Genocide. Whoa! You got a tough gloves? I gotta have that tough gloves, but I gotta pay for college. Tem only wants tough gloves. Um, let's try and negotiate with him. Maybe I can get more. But. Okay. Oh, 65. Why not? Bandage. No, I want to negotiate with him. Okay, I'm guessing. I'm guessing the Tem shopkeeper doesn't know about my intentions. Let's get rid of the stick, the spider donut, spider cider, and let's take this. Hmm. All right. Nope. Uh, I want to sell the stick. Okay, that'll have to do. Uh, I just want to look at this again. How much does Spider Donut? Heals 12. Oh, that's not a good item at all. Spider Cider? 24. I'll keep the Spider Cider. I mean, that's like, that's like a little over half my health, so. I'll keep the Spider Cider. I'll get rid of the, I'll get rid of the Spider Donut, though. Hmm. And then the astronaut food, how much does this heal? 21. Eh, it's fine. Um, whoops, uh, I'm gonna want this again. Alright, let's just um, sort my inventory a bit. Alright, I should have should have gotten more... Oh wait, how much does Simmon Blend require? Uh, 22, so I can... I can go back to Snowden and uh, and steal some more cinnamon, cinnamon buns if I want, but I don't think that's a good idea. Because, I mean, it'll take a while to get back to Snowden, so let's just keep going. I mean, it's just, it's so eerie, like, nobody here. And it's also sad, it's also sad because I had to kill Papyrus. And I'm also going to have to kill Undyne in order to, in order to keep this going. Man. Alright. Oh, you can stop doing that now. Jeez. Alright. I have to I have to keep the lanterns illuminated, because I mean this is going at the same pace it was, like first time, so if I keep the just keep the lanterns illuminated and I'll be able to find my way out of here. Whoops. Hmm. Okay, there's a lantern up here. That works. You can stop doing that now! Jesus Christ, that is so annoying. 
Alright, Undyne. Uh, Alright, then the Echo Flower with Undyne is right around here, so. Behind you! Mm hmm. <laughs> How you doing, Undyne? Seven! Seven human souls! With the power of seven human souls, our king, King Asgore Dreamer, will become a god. With that power, Asgore can finally shatter the barrier! He will finally take the surface back from humanity and give them back the suffering and pain that we have endured. Understand, human? This is your only chance at redemption! Give up your soul, or I'll tear it from your body! <laughs> You're not gonna have the chance, because Monster Kid is going to interrupt. I'm dying! I'll help you fight! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yo! You did it! I'm dying is right in front of you! You've got front row seats for a fight! <laughs> Wait, who's she fighting? <laughs> hey! You aren't gonna tell my parents about this, are you? <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is... You aren't gonna tell my parents about this, are you? <laughs> yep. Monster Kids, Monster Kids dialogue, right there. Hmm. Strangely silent, strangely silent, strangely silent, strangely silent, strangely silent. Oh! However, there is a prophecy. The angel, the one who has seen the surface, they will return and the underground will go empty. Oh. That's. Um, in the true pacifist light, that means all the monsters leave and live happily on the surface. In a genocide light, that means all the monsters die. Yeah. Wait, that save point wasn't... I don't remember that save point being there. What's going on? There's nothing here. I think I'll, I think I'll um, end this episode here. Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Undertale Genocide. Uh, I'm, s um, I'm so sorry, Papyrus. Uh, you will be missed. But I mean, my true pacifist save is still locked up, so I can get you back. Anyway, stay tuned next time for whatever's in this area. Not sure, but we'll find out. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time. Later!